Mato Yokoso. Oh wait, wrong, wrong language. Sorry. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to Speedrun Ragnarok. I hope that you have been enjoying the marathon so far, and I hope that you all enjoyed that wonderful show of Nubo. Next up, we have a mist with the ever wonderful Liz Star. Liz Star, I know that you have something that you want to show us about this I game. I do. Here, let me show you. So, uh, hi, it's me. Um, allow me to introduce you to the CBI mouse, the most unergonomic mouse to ever grace uh, the hands. It is straight agony to use. And in order to use it, I have to use the Philips mouse pad because this is from like 1991 and they didn't know how mice worked at that point. So uh, it's bad. It's really bad. Um, and if you think that's bad, wait until you see the game proper. <laughs> I am so excited. Okay, so first things first, uh, we have to go into transitions. Uh, sometimes the mouse just doesn't work properly. Uh, so if, if, if it looks like the mouse is going off in wild directions, that would be why. Uh, I am ready to go. Time starts as soon as we hit uh, this. Before I do, however, I do want to note I am the world record holder in this category. Uh, you can be missed, uh, like the normal PC version of missed, in 36 seconds and 81 milliseconds. My world record for CDI missed is 5 minutes and 16 seconds, so it is slightly slower paced. Why am I doing this to myself? Because it's a free world record. <laughs> All right. Yorin, I cannot believe this was accepted to this marathon. I'm so happy. Okay, y'all ready to go? I can count us down. I am so ready for this. All right, three, two, one, go. Count how long it takes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. Hey, we have movement. Woo! <laughs> Welcome to Mist. Uh, Mist is a point-and-click adventure game from uh, the PC of like 1991-ish, 2-ish. Uh, it's a either the uh, best point-and-click adventure game or something that ruined point-and-click adventure games, depending on who you ask. Uh, I am in the previous count. I actually really love Mist. I think it's a great game. Riven is better, uh, but it's also way harder to speedrun. Uh, I'm doing any percent, which is pretty simple, so the only thing that we have to do is we have to wander around and uh, flip up all of these markers here and then uh, go back to the beginning and flip up the uh, second marker. Did I hit the zip transition? I did, didn't I, before the, the run started? I, I, I set it so that it was set to zip. Because if not, this will be slightly slower. That will be unfortunate. Uh, so it's a simple run. Uh, any percent is easy peasy to learn. Um, and then of course, at, on top of all of those things, we also have to wait for the screen transitions. You might note this game is running really slowly. Uh, the CDI is doing its best. This is, I believe, the first ever version of CDI on, excuse me, first version, the first version of Myst to ever be put on a console. Uh, it was put on several consoles after this. Every single time, it was a terrible idea. Uh, it doesn't really fit for console. Um, imagine, for example, uh, you get missed. You hear it's really good. Uh, you don't own the CDI mouse, because why would you? And uh, you have to use a controller for this. It is terrible. All right, so we have to do the left one eight times and the right one two times. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, one, two. We can count together, y'all. That opens up this path here, and we can make our way through. Uh, I, uh, yes. This game was just meant to help us count. Yes, it's a it's a very easy game for for children. Clearly, uh, all you have to do is know how to count. Uh, I mean, Mist is a pretty good uh, medium level um, point and click game, probably on the easier side uh, nowadays, especially. Uh, but as a kid, I loved it. 
Um, and it's very, it still looks very good, in my, in my opinion. Uh, now we have to make our way all the way back up here, just slowly walking. I like to imagine, normally we're like a fit, a fit young person exploring mist, but in this version we're like really old. We have asthma. We're just taking our time, wandering around the island. I'm doing some quick, like, uh, little, like, shortcuts in order to uh, skip one or two transitions. Okay, good. I did have Zip on. <laughs> this allows us to get here faster. Uh, now we have to hit this twice. This opens up this. So now we can beat the game. So normally what you're supposed to do in Mist is you're supposed to collect a bunch of pages, put them in a book, and the book will speak to you and tell you, hey, now go here and... Uh, get us the last page, uh, but do not mess with the white pages. Um, if you do mess with the white pages and the book and the other book, that book will tell you, hey, those people will kill you, uh, so don't listen to them. Uh, if you do listen to them, shocker, they kill you. <laughs> wow. Uh, That's, wow. So the whole goal is to get in here and insert this password. Uh, warning, it's a little loud. Um, and you may be like, Liz, why are you inserting this password so slowly? Uh, I cannot insert this faster. The game will not let me. Um, something I, I need to know, there's actual speed tech in this, in this run. Uh, anytime something is loading or transitioning, uh, you can move the mouse. Um... And the, go the goal is to move the mouse to exactly where you need it to be, uh, like, having it buffer. That is difficult because the mouse turns invisible as soon as uh, transitions and things are happening. So you have to kind of just guess where you're going, and because the CDI mouse sometimes just doesn't input movement properly, because it is a mouse from 1991, uh, it can be a little difficult. So here's Atrus. Atrus is a good daddy, and he is here to take our page from us. Time will be coming up in just a few minutes. <laughs> just a few. Just a few. It, it, it'll take, you know, an, another another little bit for the transitions to get us there. All right, Atrus, please take the book. We can skip, uh... Derek, time. We can skip, uh... Um, cutscenes pretty easily by just clicking. Usually that doesn't work in Mist. You have to do certain things in order to skip around it. But this version is, for some reason, the fastest in terms of skipping cutscenes. <laughs> Except for the uh, the spinning of the of the fireplace. Liz, I have to know how do you find out about that <laughs> password casually? Uh, so you talk to uh, one of the two uh, books. Uh, they have this this person's uh, kids in them, and they say, uh, "Go inside this book on the bookshelf. It just has a list of passwords in it, and specifically look in the page like 56 and put that password in." So after you do the game, it's like the game is like four different worlds, each of them having their own puzzles that you then pick up a page and then get to the main space where then you put the page in a book, and the person in the book says, "Hey." Here's the lore. Now go get more pages. And uh, it's supposed to be like a slow learning situation, but when you actually know what you're doing, you can just immediately go to the end. Fair. Yes. Uh, my time was 50, uh, 5 minutes and 37 seconds. That is uh, 15 seconds off world record. Good stuff. <laughs> very good stuff. It's a very easy run to pick up. I picked up this run uh, because it was a free world record. And um, I love Mist. I've always wanted to, to learn Mist. I bought a CDI just because for the heck of it. And I was like, hey, I can get CDI Mist because no one's running it. And that kind of created a horrifying uh, domino effect. And now I have speedrun world records in like four different... <laughs> Mist versions. This is by far the worst. Uh, the world record for the PC Mist uh, is 36 seconds and 81 milliseconds. So it is a tad bit faster. Uh, just somewhat, a little. Just a tiny bit. People might say that the DS version is worse than this. Uh, I think this is just slightly worse. Till that point, 
for each of them. <laughs> Interesting. Why is the DS Gracious. version worse? Um, I want you to picture you. me hunched over a tiny screen, tapping as quickly as I can on the with yeah, the. I see that. It's bad. <laughs> also, the uh, the 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 DS screen is not quite calibrated perfectly enough to get the. Oh, no. It's a very tiny screen. <laughs> So I'm constantly hitting things and they're not registering. Uh, Saturn Mist. Saturn Mist I speedrun and it's pretty okay. <laughs> it's alright. Uh, I have the Japanese version. And uh, Atris has a very, very attractive voice in the Saturn version. Very deep, booming Japanese man. It's great. Nice. Uh, I'm just rambling at that point. This point, yeah. I mean, there's it. so much. I mean, there is so much time for you to ramble with. But thank you so much, Liz, for uh, running this short but sweet and amazing uh, run for us. We're always happy to have you on. Uh, any anything else you want to shout out before we go? Yeah. Okay, got it. That was that was. I hope everybody got that message. It was really important. Uh, thank you, everybody, so much for. Uh, chill now with us for this short but sweet run uh we're going to be up next with a the uh take this talk segment where we are going to be talking to you uh surprise about hold on i have all of the wrong pages up and i i have to i have pushed a talk open and it just makes it hard to to do the things. Uh, so we're going to be talking to you about self-care and supporting friends and family. You can get on our Q&A on the Twitter, uh, exclamation point Q&A. Someone please put that in there for me. And we are going to be talking with Dr. B, Dr. Kelly, and Dr. Rachel Cowart uh, about uh, self-care and supporting your friends and family uh, in these trying times. So uh, I hope that you are all looking forward to that. We'll be back shortly. <laughs> 